ever have one of those you had to be there moments. Well, picture this. December 2009, a crisp morning in northern Norway. You step outside, maybe grabbing a second cup of coffee, and suddenly, boom, this massive glowing spiral just dominates the sky. Not your average sunrise, huh? No, not at all. And this wasn't some blurry UFO photo either. We're talking thousands of people witnessing this thing firsthand. Okay, so what did this thing actually look like? I mean, paint a picture for me. Eyewitnesses described it as this colossal white spiral just hanging there against the dark sky. Imagine a celestial whirlpool, but instead of water, it's this ethereal white light. And from its center, there's this vibrant blue beam just shooting out, like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, really. It's no wonder people were... Well, captivated, even a little terrified, I'd imagine. I bet. I mean, this was before we had, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Videos popping up every other day, right? <laughs> yeah. This was a massive visual anomaly. People must have come up with some wild explanations, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Theories ranged from portals to other dimensions all the way to secret government experiments. You know, it really highlights how quickly speculation can run rampant, especially when something that seems inexplicable happens on such a grand scale. It really makes you realize how deeply ingrained that fear of the unknown is, you know, especially when it feels like the sky itself is trying to tell us something. Mm -hmm. But like most things that sound too bizarre to be true, there turned out to be a somewhat more terrestrial explanation for the Norway spiral. Indeed. It took a bit of international back and forth, but it was eventually confirmed that what everyone saw was actually caused by a failed Russian missile launch. A Bula missile, to be precise, launched from a submarine in the White Sea. Seems it went a little off course. Wait, so the missile malfunction created that perfect spiral shape. How is that even possible? It's actually a demonstration of physics, unfortunately. Basically, the rocket didn't follow its intended trajectory. As it spun out of control, venting fuel, it created that mesmerizing, albeit unintentional, spiral effect. Okay, so not aliens, but a malfunctioning missile creating a giant light show in the sky. I have to admit that's still pretty wild, but this wasn't just a harmless light show, right? I mean, there were some real-world implications because of this, weren't there? Oh, absolutely. You're right. While the immediate mystery was solved, you know, what is that thing? The incident actually sparked some significant concern within the international community. I mean, think about it. This was a failed missile launch, and that failure played out on a global stage. So even though it wasn't a UFO or a terror in space-time or whatever, the Norway spiral still managed to send ripples across the globe, huh? Precisely, yeah. And the incident sparked serious discussions about, you know, the safety protocols surrounding missile tests. Because if a failed launch could create that kind of spectacle over Norway, what were the potential unintended consequences? Even catastrophic yeah, ones, right? So this event really forced a lot of people to re-examine those international security protocols and really assess the risks that are associated with these kinds of tests. Makes you wonder what was going through the minds of some of these world leaders as they watched that spiral unfold. Yeah, it's wild to think something like that could expose those kinds of uh, geopolitical fault lines, you know. But even with that explanation, that it was a failed missile launch, some people still weren't satisfied, still clung to those more imaginative theories. Oh, I bet. The internet <laughs> loves a good mystery, right? What were some of the, let's say, more creative explanations that stuck around? Well, some people, they doubled down on that whole government thing, said it was a weapons test, some kind of experimental technology. And then others, they went even further, you know, down the rabbit hole, talking about wormholes, even suggesting it was a sign of extraterrestrial activity, like, you know. See, that's what I find so interesting about all this. Even with a perfectly logical explanation, some people, they're just drawn to those more extraordinary interpretations, almost like our brains crave that sense of wonder. You know what I mean? Worth of mystery. You're absolutely right. I think it speaks to something, uh, something fundamental about human nature. Our desire to find patterns, to make sense of the unknown. We're hardwired for it, to look for meaning, even when faced with something inexplicable. And the Norway spiral, it was definitely inexplicable, at least at first. But you mentioned earlier, this wasn't an isolated incident, right? Yeah. There have been other instances of these strange spirals appearing in the sky. So besides this Russian missile launch, has anything else even come close to what happened over Norway? Well, while the sheer scale of the Norway spiral, that was definitely unique. There have been other events, you know, throughout history that at least resemble it in description. And one of the most well-known examples of this is um, the Tunguska event back in 1908. Oh, right. Yeah, the massive explosion in Siberia. That's the one that flattened millions of trees, right? 
What does that have to do with spirals? So while the most widely accepted theory is that the Tunguska event was caused by a meteor, you know, exploding in the atmosphere, there were some eyewitness accounts that described seeing a blazing spiral of light streaking across the sky just before that blast. Hold on. So we're talking a potential spiral followed by an explosion that leveled, what, hundreds of square miles. That's a bit more intense than a failed missile launch. It certainly is. And and while there's no definitive link between those spiral sightings and the explosion itself, it's still something that's debated, you know, and speculated about even to this day. The sheer scale of the Tunguska event combined with those eyewitness accounts, it's kept the mystery alive, you know, for over a century. Plus, yeah, the whole history is written by the victors thing, right? Yep. If something like that happened today, I mean, we'd have it on camera from every angle yeah. back then. Not so much. Makes you wonder how many other events like this, unexplained events, just went unrecorded. That's a really interesting point. And, you know, you mentioned lights in the sky earlier. And there is another phenomenon, also in Norway, as a matter of fact, that's generated its fair share of head scratching, the Hestalen lights. Okay, I'm listening. Tell me more about these Hestalen lights. What are we talking about here? So imagine this. You're in the Hestalen Valley, right? And all of a sudden, you see these strange lights dancing across the sky. Sometimes they're orbs, sometimes streaks, and yes, even spirals. They've been observed for decades. And while there's no single, you know, universally accepted explanation, some researchers believe that they might be caused by uh, atmospheric plasma. Atmospheric plasma. I have to admit, that sounds a little over my head. It might sound complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Essentially, atmospheric plasma is ionized air that emits light. So think of it like a natural neon sign, but it's created by the interaction of charged particles in the atmosphere. Okay, so these lights, these spirals, they could be caused by something as simple as, what, ionized air? It's a leading theory, yeah. But even with all the research, the Hestalen lights, much like that Tunguska event, they still have that air of mystery, you know? A good reminder that for all our scientific advancements, there are still things out there, phenomena, that we just haven't completely figured out. So we've got failed missile launches, possible meteors, mysterious atmospheric plasma. It's like the universe just has a way of throwing us these curveballs, especially when it comes to things we see up in the sky. Absolutely. And these events, you know, whether they're easily explained or shrouded in mystery, they often have this lasting impact. They seep into our collective consciousness, even influencing popular culture. Oh, for sure. And the, the Norway spiral was no exception, right? I remember seeing it everywhere after it happened. It was like it became this instant icon for the unknown. But beyond just popping up on t-shirts and in video games, how else would you say the Norway spiral has stuck with us? Yeah, it really did. For a while there, you couldn't escape it. It was like everywhere you turned, TV, magazines, always some reference to the Norway spiral. It really was. Thanks. And it wasn't just like relegated to those conspiracy theory websites or whatever. I mean, well, it was mainstream. It really did like break through yeah. for a while there. And it popped up everywhere, you know? I mean, Doctor Who video games, even inspired like a few sci-fi novels. Wow. It became this kind of visual shorthand for, you know, the unknown. Yeah. A way for storytellers to like tap into that sense of wonder and, you know, maybe a little unease, all those things that the event kind of evoked in people. It is pretty fascinating when you think about it, that a single event, something that people saw for, what, a few minutes maybe? Yeah. Could spark so much creativity, capture the imagination of so many. It's true. I think it goes back to that need, you know, that we have to try to understand the things we don't, to find some meaning in things that seem inexplicable. And even though we know now, you know, we have a pretty clear understanding of what caused it, huh. what happened. I don't think that diminishes, you know, its cultural impact. I think it goes beyond just, oh, we solved the mystery, you know? It's this reminder, like this potent reminder that the universe is vast. Right. And and our understanding of it, it's limited, you know? Yeah, it's humbling in a way, right? To think about like for all of our scientific advancements, our technology, all that, Yeah. we could still be, I don't know, caught off guard by the universe, I guess. Yeah. Like its ability to just create something so unexpected, so visually, I don't know, arresting. You know, and it's true. And while, you know, it might not have been an alien mothership or some tear in the fabric of reality, mm -hmm. like some people thought at the time. Yeah, it did. I think it forced us to confront 
you know, that unknown, to question what we thought we knew, and also just to, I don't know, to marvel at it a little bit. Yeah. At the sheer beauty and the power of, you know, the natural world, even if that power was, in this case, you know, accidentally unleashed. That's a great point. It's easy to get caught up, you know, in the day to day. Yeah. But then something like this happens. It's like a good reminder, right? Yeah. That reality itself can be a lot stranger, a lot more awe-inspiring than anything, I don't know, than anything we can dream up. Exactly. And it makes you wonder what else is out there? What other mysteries, you know, are we going to stumble across? What well, haven't we even, you know? That's a great place to leave it, I think. So next time you find yourself looking up at the night sky, just remember the Norway spiral. It's a reminder that even in our, you know, hyper-connected, like information-saturated world, there's always something new to discover. Always room for a little wonder, a little mystery. A little mystery. And who knows? Maybe you'll be lucky enough to witness the next big, you know, anomaly. The next one that leaves everybody scratching their heads. And we'll be here to dive deep into it when it happens. Until then, keep looking up and keep asking those questions.